so let me see and I feel September highly highly indicated and when this card came out it just um, struck me so with the three energy so the three months time frame okay so let's go into your spread here um, the first card that's coming through here is the Prince of Pentacles. And the Prince of Pentacles usually indicates to me some type of a job offer, okay? So I feel like for a lot of you, you have battled the competitors. You have to really, really make yourself stand out. Make yourself look and appear very, very competitive and a very good asset. So as a result of it, a lot of you might have a new job situation verging on the horizon for you, okay? I do sense new job opportunities coming through because this is the first card that popped out, which indicates to me an offer that is being made to you and an offer that is going to uh, really alleviate some of your anxieties. Now, Sagittarius, I feel like the anxiety, a lot of it is finance driven. I'm getting a lot of finance with this card. Um, I don't feel that romance destabilizes you the same way that finance finances do. So I do feel this is uh, related to, you know, having to prove yourself on a job interview, having to really stand your ground and having to um, make yourself stand out because there is a job or if you have been job hunting, there's a lot of things that you have been worried about paying the bills, paying for, um, paying for like, um, I'm getting like tuition tuition for a lot of you and as a result of it you are feeling quite you know destabilized quite worried quite insecure and uh, uncertain as well okay so I do feel new jobs on the horizon and I do sense if you are going job on uh, on job interviews really really play up your assets you are a very happy go lucky sign and your energy is very infectious in a good way you're very your energy is very contagious and you know any Sagittarius, even when you catch them at their worst, they can find humor in a very, very dire situation. So you have that going for you. And I do sense you are going to be able to wow them. So show your quirky side. Do whatever you need to do. I, I do sense that playing up your assets would be a big, big um, self-esteem boost for you and to also make you stand out. What I'm also sensing is for some of you, you might be in conflict with an earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this is sun, moon or rising. I do sense that um, I feel for a lot of you, it could be friendships. It could be family members as well. OK, I do sense that somebody sees that you're struggling and they're also coming in to help you. So this earth sign might be coming in to help you. You might feel a little bit like um uh, offended for some reason. Um, I feel like they're coming in offering you, they see you working so hard and they're coming in telling you, Hey, there's a smart way to do this. And you're just like, no, I prefer my method, even though it expends a lot of energy. But I feel like there's this back and forth between this person and you, if it's an earth sign, I feel almost as if they really want to help you, but they don't really want to step on your toes. So they're taking a step back and they're kind of like leading you from the sidelines, which actually aggravates you a lot more. So chalk it up as, you know, two people approaching problem solving and cooperation in a very different manner. I don't see they, I don't think they bring with them any malice or any harm. So, you know, take their advice because I feel like they have a lot to offer as well. Okay. In terms of your financial state, like I mentioned um, earlier, you, you're no longer worried, but you know, the, the last leg of the journey is still going to be from now until September when you're home free. So I do feel there's still a sense of like juggling your finances. Okay. So this indicates, um, not dropping the ball. It indicates trying to manage bookkeeping, trying to budget, trying to keep track of what's coming in, what's going out so that you are not uh, swimming in bills so that you are not inundating yourself with like useless expenditures. Um, I feel like a lot of you are not into like bookkeeping. A lot of you just don't have the patience to deal with like minute details. And this is more of like Virgo territory is what I'm feeling. Um, I feel that it is going to be important for you to at least, you know, um, just for this month. Okay. You don't have to do it other months, just mentally or even physically write down what's coming in, what's coming out, how much you're expecting for this month and don't exceed those, uh, projections. Okay. So just be very, very careful with your financial state, please. And I know you don't like to do bookkeeping, but it is going to be in your best interest. Just get through this month doing some very minor bookkeeping. Just keep on budget. Okay. 
Uh, what's coupled here with the Two of Pentacles is the Lover's card. And the Lover's card usually indicates some major, major, major thing that we are emotionally, very passionately invested in. So I'm going to say that um, I do want you to be a little bit careful when it comes to, you know, like um, juggling two people because the Lover's indicates third party interference as well. And then you have the Two of Pentacles, which is, you know, somebody juggling two people. So the trick here is be very careful that you don't get caught, uh, cover your tracks, cover your bases, but more than anything, pick one person. It seems to me like you've got a lot on your plate already and you really can't, um, you really can't be oscillating back and forth and not making up your mind. So what I'm feeling here is for a lot of you, you might just be caught up in, you know, this act where you're not really sure which way to go. You're not really sure if you, if, if you can like, um, pry open that door from the past. Okay. And you're not really sure how to proceed with the future. So I feel like you are straddling the past and the present. I feel like there might be a romantic interest from the past coming through, reaching out to you. And it's brought you some worries, anxieties. You, you thought they weren't going to come back. And then on the other hand, you've got this other person from the, you know, in the present or in the future that you really, really want to be with, but there are obstacles standing in the way. So I feel like you're, you're straddling two worlds here. One person from the past, one person from the future. Both of these choices seem like they're, um, it's like the, it's not similar to the Gemini reading being stuck in a, uh, between a rock and a hard place. So you're kind of like standing still and you're not really sure which way to go. And my advice here is, it seems to me, uh, Sagittarius, like you've got a lot on your plate. So why don't you draw your energy back and focus on you? I feel like that's the only advice that I can actually give you at this present moment. Okay. What I'm also sensing here is, um, be very, very mindful of deception, okay? This is like deception coming through from other people. We do have the Seven of Swords as well as the Devil. Now, the Devil card indicates temptation. So once again, one person from the past, one person from the uh, present or the future. And both of these options come with obstacles. And I feel like a lot of you are lured back in with somebody from the past. I do sense it's somebody from the past. And I feel like... Let me see. The past person could also be, I feel like the past person might be that earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this is also the card of Capricorn. So what I'm feeling is I feel like there's somebody feeding you some lies. Okay. Keeping you in the dark, keeping you uh, chained up to them. So if you have financial assets, houses, uh, property, just joint ventures with this person, they don't want to let you go mainly because of that, the financial resources. And I feel like there's some indiscretion coming in here as well so just be very mindful about what you're doing and why you are getting yourself back in this place where you are feeling like down on yourself um what i'm sensing is honestly for a lot of you i feel like somebody's coming in from the past and you know this is like somebody that you are not planning to bring into the future with you. So you might have had like a one night stand. You might have like had a moment of weakness and you kind of sought them out, even though you knew that it wasn't going to. And I feel like there's some residual shame as a result of it. So Sagittarius, don't beat yourself over it. It, it happens to the best of us. So if you feel that sense of shame of like, you know, like going back to somebody that you never in a million years would bring into your future with you or would, you know, introduce to mom and dad. And you feel like, oh my gosh, I made a lapse. I had a moment of a lapse of judgment and I made a bad call. And I feel you, there's this shame following you around. Just cast it off and just vow to yourself never to do it again, because I feel like you're beating yourself up over it. Okay. But all the same, I do sense some temptation. I do feel opportunities for stepping out on relationship. It's very ripe here. So be very mindful of this energy. Be very careful. Okay. So in terms of your future though, we do have the three of cups as well as the six of cups. And this is your emotional state, your, uh, the way that you're feeling this, this month. I do see a lot of positive energy around you, a lot of positive support, a lot of good friends, good associate, good energies. Um, what I'm also sensing as well is 
I feel that for a lot of you, there is a soulmate connection that you're making this month, okay? Um, it's showing up here with the Six of Cups and also with the Three of Cups. The Six of Cups indicates some type of a past life energy, past life karma that needs to be restored within this lifetime. I do sense for those of you who are out and about, who are single and looking, <clears throat> you might encounter this past life energy in another person. And um, there is opportunities for reconciliation and I would say this is a social dating card the three of cups it's also a reconciliation card it's also like coming together in a celebratory manner a lot of you might be meeting this person when you are out and about in celebration a lot of you need to uh, get yourself to the point where you can break free from the past and you know overcome the shame and the guilt and whatever it is that you're dealing in a, that moment of weakness um, I know it's easier to said than done, but like really snap out of it, get your, pick up your vibration, go out with friends, go do things around the community that is going to be self-esteem, esteem boosting for you in the process of being able to lift up your vibration. You might have, um, this connection crossing your past. Okay. It's a past, it's a soulmate connection and it is going to be really good for you. It's going to be very positive and stable. I feel for a lot of you, it might be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra that you are encountering. Okay. If not an air sign, then I do sense possibly a water sign. Both of these are in the suit of water. So, um, somebody who is drastically different from you because you know, you're a fire sign, they're a water sign. So this is, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. I'm feeling strong Scorpio. I'm feeling strong Scorpio with this energy. Um, I feel though, this might be a soulmate, but there is a third party involved. Okay. So they might be uh, separated, but they not, might not be married. They might have children with the other person. So they're not completely severed. <clears throat> I feel like they might, there, there's some, some hardships associated with you getting a relationship off the ground with them okay so this can also denote like a mentorship a very significant person who will be in your life in the future but i feel there are some troubles getting the relationship off the ground um this indicates threesome like third party interference and then there's also a guy in the back here He's looking on, he's monitoring, making sure the children are well behaved. So I feel like there's some type of a circumstantial things interfering in your union or a, a not allowing you both to get things off the ground or some type of a third party, okay? So those of you dealing with um, an earth sign in particular, if they are from your past, close the doors on that for good because you've got new energies coming through and I feel like water and air. Okay, coming through. Now, in terms of your advice, we do have the Fool card, which is a really, really beautiful card. It indicates closing doors on the past and starting on a brand new journey. So you have this clean slate, you have this reset button, and you are doing it in a way that is really good for you. But once again, be very, very mindful about temptations. Be very mindful about... So just, just imagine you have a, a clean slate. Whatever you do, be careful about actions and consequences. So learn from the past so that you can forge a path ahead for yourself with a lot more knowledge, with a lot more wisdom, and with less regrets, okay? Uh, what's coming in to help you as well? We do have the King of Swords, and this is an um, air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is somebody that might be very, very significant for you for this month. And I do sense that they are coming in in the finance field, so they might be linked up to your work. This can also be linked up to uh, what I'm feeling first and foremost is um, I feel it's love. I feel like it's a love relationship. It's somebody that makes you feel uh, very elated, like very uh, positive, very uh, awestruck. I would say somebody you admire, somebody you really, really look up to and you have a very strong connection with. OK, I feel like the connection is there, but they are a little bit more logical and cerebral. They might not acknowledge this connection. You, on the other hand, feel a little bit more aloof. So you might not uh, show that emotional side of you. OK, um, this person is could uh, figure as a financial advisor, too. And they seem to me to be like um, somebody that can give you a lot of solid advice in terms of how to do your work well, how to do it better, which way to look for work and how they can help you, you know, financially. Uh, both of these cards indicate to me this is the energy that's coming through. 
I feel like a lot of you are a lot more guarded when it comes to relationships, opening yourselves up, allowing yourself to feel vulnerable. I feel that a lot of you are kind of like on guard. It's sort of like, um, I'm not going to let other people hurt me. So, you know, I'm going to pass everything off as a joke. So you come off as a little, I feel like you're coming off very intelligent, very uh, well received, but there's that lack of emotional connection. Okay. And I feel as a result of it, whoever it is, if you are projecting this energy or if the other person is projecting this energy, I feel that the other person might act aloof. So I, I feel like um, almost like a stalemate when it comes to you and the, the people that you're interested in. I do sense for a lot of you, there is somebody that you are romantically interested in. And um, <clears throat> I, st I see a stalemate. No one's really making a move. One person's got their guard up. The other person's trying to act cool and aloof and de detach. Um, so I don't know how this is going to play out and I'm going to do your love reading in a little bit. It just seems to me a little bit comical, honestly, Sagittarius, because I feel like you both are trying to play it cool. You both are like, um, you both have been through a lot in your past and I feel like this might be somebody that you've met on the work environment as well. So there's that sense of, uh, enforced professionalism and you might not have a way to, have an emotional connection so let it play out i feel like maybe the timing is just not right okay i feel like september um uh, things will open up hopefully september things will open up for you both on the, the love portal but let me just see what's in store for you for love for this month be careful about temptation sagittarius i do see temptation coming in and you know you are a fire sign so um be very mindful about jumping the gun, okay? Just be careful about that. So let's see, what's in store for Sagittarius for love and relationships? We've got the two of pentacles again. Somebody's juggling and dropping the ball. Somebody's juggling. If it's you or your partner, somebody's juggling and dropping the ball and it's not looking very pretty, okay? I feel like as a result of it, it might bring something to an end, actually. Um, a lot of you in the past position, oh, okay, so the, the cards are all relaying some type of a theme, okay? Yep, so one common theme. All right, so let me just get through this first and then I'll, I'll pull out another one and see if there's any other information coming through because it's all telling one story pretty much. All right, so in the past position, we have the magician. This is a card of someone who is very, very extremely manipulative, okay? They have gotten too big for their britches. They know that um, they can get away with a lot and so they overload. And this is a card about greed, is about deception as well, because it, it's, it deals with manipulation. And um, I feel like you are you were dealing with somebody like this. If you were somebody like this, I do hope that you were not. Um, this energy is very, very prevalent in the spread, which brings us to present day, where somebody is juggling multiple options and they're not keeping their story straight, they're not keeping their facts straight, and they're dropping the ball essentially, okay? So be mindful about this. If it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, I do feel for a lot of you, <clears throat> I do feel it's somebody that you're dealing with because um, I'm getting like a lot of pentacle suit. So if you're dealing with an earth sign particularly, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do sense that something is dropping the ball. Somebody is dropping the ball. Somebody is juggling too many options. I see uh, information. You, you might have inkling, but you have never had confirmation about this situation, okay? You have inkling because I feel like for a lot of you, you're still kept in the dark. You're still blindfolded. You're still stuck in this situation hoping things are going to get better, but I don't feel things getting any better for you. And I feel like even to this day, you might not have the closure that you need to fully move on, to fully heal and to fully start your life. And I feel like that is posing a major blockage for you. A lot of the times we want closure and we feel like if I just have the uh, information, then I can just, you know, move on ahead. But I do sense that somebody is stringing you along and keeping you in suspense and keeping you on the sideline whenever they need you. And that is not a good place to be. So you're like, just get yourself out of this Sagittarius. You don't need the closure. 
You, you actually don't. And I feel like maybe September time you will get the closure. But in the meantime, you can't keep yourself stuck because it's creating a lot of blockages in your own life. It's preventing you from stepping out and living your life as well, okay? I feel that you're being strung along. So just be very mindful about this. I don't want you getting hurt and I especially don't want you to stay in this environment. Now crowning this reading here is the Empress card. And the Empress card usually indicates to me like a... Um, married woman so i feel like if you're dealing with someone you have an inkling that they're with somebody else but i feel like you you feel like they might have a mistress but i feel with this empress showing up so prominently i feel like they might be married they might have recently separated but i feel like they might not be completely divorced they might still be seeing each other so this is some information that you have your intuition is screaming out you know this is what it is, but I feel like you were you're you were looking for validation. You were looking for some type of confirmation. Um, the foundation here we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse position. So once again, uh, lies, deception, and things like that. <clears throat> for a lot of you, if you are dating, um, I feel like there is an air sign interfering in in the in the picture okay so this can be aquarius gemini libra there's an air sign interfering in the picture and the air sign could be you know the the wife or the mistress is what i'm feeling there's also some um if you are dealing with an air sign if you are dealing with an air sign so male or female uh, aquarius gemini libra what i feel is like you, I feel like a lot of you have left a relationship behind and you're like, I'm never going back to it. And you're starting to see somebody new. And this new person could potentially be an air sign. They kind of frustrate you. They might give you mixed messages. They might keep you in the dark. You might you might not understand them. They seem to, to be a little bit... They seem like they're saying one thing and they might mean another. And I don't feel like they're doing it in a malicious way. It could be like, they're just not emotional people. So they can text you, I really like you. And when you see them, they, they're very shy. And when air signs get shy, they play it off really well. So I feel like you're, you feel as if you're not really sure how to move forward with them. You're not really sure how they feel about you. So my advice here is, it, whatever an air sign says because it's an air suit it deals with communication take what they say at face value don't look for it in nonverbal communication does that make sense because you're dealing with an air sign and it just doesn't make sense to read body language when they're the communicators of the zodiac okay so i feel that's what's happening here because you're a fire sign you read body language you read action but you're dealing with an air sign and they deal with you know mental agility they deal with communication especially so i definitely feel somebody blocking your progress so on the one hand i feel a lot of you have left a possibly an earth sign behind and you're trying to make get progress get momentum going with this air sign and they're confusing you and you you don't really know how to proceed okay so i feel like that's what's happening here it can be cleared up with just communication without overthinking without over analyzing take what they say at face value is what i'm feeling here okay others of you who are juggling two people um if you are a sagittarius juggling two people be very mindful you might be juggling um earth sign and an air sign just be very very careful because i feel like um intuition overall for everybody involved is coming in very very strongly and as a result of it it might um it might create some type of confusion when it comes to you know uh, people picking up mixed messages and people like um picking up intuitive messages and getting very confused okay so just try to avoid that so let me see what else is coming through. Okay. So for others, um, I do see a lot of like um, 
finances, work, and things like that also potentially interfering with relationships as well. And this is something I felt like coming in earlier. And I'm sorry, I had to do this again, mainly because all of these cards were echoing the same themes. So for those of you who are single and dating, I definitely see a lot of options on the table for you. I feel like you're kind of like a serial speed dater this month for some reason. I feel like you're going to lunch and then dinner with like multiple people because you're going through that process to find the right person. And there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, give people some time. Don't be so hasty. A lot of the, the dating process itself is to hone in on our conversational skills, to hone in on the qualities of the other person of the opposite sex or whatever gender you are dating. Hone in on the qualities that you want. And a lot of it is about redefining and even finding out what it is that you want. I feel like a lot of you might be on dating websites or you, you're doing some type of speed dating. This is like the dating website card. It's like, you know, going on... Uh, apps and, and looking through, looking at pictures, going on social media and looking at people. What I'm feeling is um, <clears throat> a lot of you have, um, might have, might be doing it now or might have done it in the past where you're like a serial dater. You would just go give somebody like one date and then just rule them out. I feel that it's important for you to slow down. Okay. Uh, enjoy the process. Okay. Because I feel like you're breezing through it and you could potentially rule out some very, very good candidates. Some people need a little bit more time to open up. And I feel like that's what's happening here. You're so anxious and you're so like um, consumed with finding the right person, getting to the destination that you're missing the journey. Okay. Um, others of you might be walking away from a uh, significant relationship. Like I see eight years eight months, eight years, walking away from a situation because you feel it could have been long distance or you were constantly um, waiting for the other person to carry out their promises, waiting for the other person to, um, you know, chip in. So I, I definitely feel that as well. Um, I do see some consideration you and a partner, potentially, if you are in a committed relationship, I see you and a partner potentially like moving, thinking about moving, talking about moving, trying to find a place where you both can live and work, where there's like plenty of job opportunities for you. So I see a lot of movement happening, but you might be at an, at an impasse, especially if you are, um, yeah, if you're looking for work, I see some work situations potentially getting in the way of where, where you can relocate, okay, where you can be. And I feel like financial worries as well. Do not let financial worries overwhelm the love and the, you know, the rapport, emotional connection in the relationship. 